before this video starts, I would like to say that I have coded a Discord bot. Um, if you could, please add it to your servers. It would mean a lot. We are still trying to grow. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to code a DM command with Discord.js version 14 for your Discord bot. I'm going to be showing you two different ways you can do it. One way is just like the simple, like do a prefix DM and then say the message and it will send it. And the other way is you can turn the entire channel into almost like a mod mail type thing for a specified amount of time and all of those messages will be sent to that member. So let's go ahead and get started. So we can start by doing if command equals 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 dm1. This will be the first basic dm command. Uh, then we can go ahead and do member variable. Make a comment here and we can just define the variable. So the first one is going to be const member equals message dot mentions dot members dot first. Two lines. Message dot guild dot members dot cache dot git argument we can do zero message dot message dot guild dot members dot cache dot find you can do x arrow function x dot user dot username uh, dot two lower case parentheses we can do equals 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 all right then we can do argument dot slice zero we can do dot join and here we can do uh, a string just like that. And outside of that, we can do the two lines x.user.username equals 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 argument zero. All right. So if you have seen any of my tutorials before, this is the exact same variable that all of these commands use. So if you want to copy and paste that, uh, be my guest and go ahead and do that. That would be uh, much easier. But if you haven't seen them before, just go ahead and type that out. So now we can do another comment. We can say, uh, message variable so in here we're going to do const m equals argue or args we'll do args dot slice one and we can do dot join and then in here we can do an empty string so this is going to join um args by the way not arg uh, this is going to join all of the arguments or the uh, characters from um, point one which is after the first uh, word or message or string of characters onward and it's going to string them together and put them in here basically uh, so then we can do if no m or no message return message dot channel send and here we can say please provide a message for me need to send just like that all right then we can go ahead and send the message so we can do said message comment and we can say member member dot send we can say m and we can do catch error arrow function we can open this up return message dot channel dot send i cannot dm this member as they have their dms off just like that so if this bot is a public bot and you were trying to get it verified or something like that uh keep that in mind here because what i had to do when verifying esky was I actually had to change uh, this from just sending the message that you sent um, or you specified to something like this. Uh, the, the following message was sent from message.guild.name uh, and then we can do M or something like that. That's what I had to do when verifying the bot just to follow uh, the guidelines. Um, but for this, I'm just going to put M because it's a lot easier. Um, and yeah, so now we can actually go ahead and send a message in the channel, send channel message so that the person who's sending the message knows that the message was sent. So we can do message dot channel dot send. I sent member dot user dot tag. Uh, we can do in here, we can do M just like that. We are done with the first uh, DM command. We'll test this out after we have done the second one. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and start the second ver version of this. So this one is pretty much the exact same um, idea, but it's a little bit different. So we'll call this if command equals 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 DM2. We'll open this up and we'll do a time variable. So basically this is going to be how many seconds the uh, channel reads all of the messages and sends it to the member uh i'll show you an example while i was testing it this is what happens um so it activates it 
and it sends it and it says this and stuff and it sends it and then after the time is up as you can see it will stop it and none of the messages will go through and will say uh reactivate it if you want uh, but yeah that's basically what it is so we have to define a time uh so we can do const time equals args uh one and then we can do multiplied by 1000 because this is going to read in milliseconds i think so we have to get it down to seconds by multiplying it so then we can do if uh is nan and then we can put in time we can return message dot channel send and we can say please specify a valid number of seconds you want this dm to be open for we can say that all right, then we can come down here. We can do member variable. I'm not going to retype this. I'm just going to go up here and copy it. Um, so we can copy that down here. Uh, then we can go ahead and do author variable. We can do const author uh, equals message dot author. Then we can go ahead and uh, do author dot send. And then we can say your conversation with um, member has been activated, activated, and will end in time seconds, just like that. All right, then we can do um, collector. All right, so we can do cons collector equals message dot channel dot create message collector um, and then we can put in our time variable just like that all right now we can go ahead and actually turn the collector on so we can do collector dot on just like that and in here we can say collect we can put a comma and we can do an error function just like this we can go ahead and open that up one more thing that you should probably do uh, that i forgot this is kind of optional but I don't, I mean, we'll just do it. So we can do const filter equals, uh, we'll just do e arrow function e dot content dot includes, and we'll just leave that blank. Uh, and we're going to just pass that right in here. Uh, that way the collector still works. So you don't actually have to put a filter in. Um, I'm just going to leave that blank. So in here we can do m member dot send, and then we can do message.author.tag said e.content and then we can go ahead and catch the error error function we can go ahead and open this up uh all right so now we can return message.channel sn i cannot complete this action as the member has their dms off just like that all right so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and turn the collector off after the time ends. So we can go ahead and do collector on, and then we can say end. We can do collected, and then we can do error function. We can say message dot channel dot send. Uh, your uh, oops, we can just get rid of that. Uh, your DM channel has been deactivated as your set time has ran out uh, then we can say something like to reactivate it type activate or type dm2 or whatever it is uh, whatever the command was um, yeah and then we can go ahead and close that off and now we are actually done so let's go ahead and restart the bot and test both these commands out now that we are in the discord server and the bot uh, is online here as you can see we can go ahead and just run our test command i like to always run a test command just to make sure it's working we can go ahead and start so we can do dm1 because that's the first dm command we can uh, put in me and then we can just send our message so we can say hello uh, and as you can see, it will say I sent me and then the message right here. And if we go in here, it will send the message. Um, this also works for like a sentence. So DM me, hi, how are you? Uh, and it will say that. Keep in mind, this is a non-response message. So like if I try to respond, it will not go back. So yeah. All right. So now we can actually test out the 
uh, more exciting ones, we can do DM2 uh, me, and then we'll, we have to pass in the time, so this is just gonna be seconds, so we'll say 15 seconds. Okay, so I did make a slight error, so what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is you're gonna wanna go into here in the author variable section, and for you it's gonna look like this, so you're just gonna wanna divide it by a thousand, uh, so we can get it back down to the, the seconds mark. So once you've done that, we can restart the bot and test it out. Alright, so we can try it again, DM2 me, and then we can say 15. As you can see, I get a DM because I am the author saying it will um, end in 15 seconds. Now we can go ahead and send a bunch of messages and as you can see, they all will go through to my DMs. Now there is a cooldown obviously because the API cannot spam messages like this. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we get all of these messages and then after the time is done, it will say this and we no longer will be getting these messages. I'll just show you what it would be like if I tried it on my alt, so DM two we can try my alts and then we can say a little bit longer so we'll we'll do like 20 seconds um and as you can see i'll still get a dm because i am the author and it will say my conversation with my alt has started and it will end in 20 seconds so if i can just send a bunch of messages i can say how are you this is the mod team uh, or something like that over on the alt we can go ahead and see that we've received all of these messages and it just looks normal, pretty much, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm back over on the main account. As you can see, the time has ran out. And yeah, so one thing to keep in mind here is I'm not sure how high you can put the time. I haven't really had time to test that. Um, I know if you like put the time really high, like if you just spam zeros, then the bot would crash. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure, so just you know, be careful. Um, I You can put it pretty high, you just can't put it like for a bazillion seconds uh, but yeah one more thing is if you don't want uh the thing to end if you want it to be an infinite conversation which i don't recommend you can just uh remove the time from here and leave it like this and it will never end but i would recommend not doing that as that can cause some issues and overload the api and it's probably not even allowed anyways so yeah that's how you code a uh, dm command with discord.js version 14 um, if you need any help, the help server is here. Uh, you can go ahead and join it. And uh, yeah, we'll be here to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.